Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Crisp News. I am that Houston guy, your host, Sergio. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the IRS agents. And basically, there's a lot of dirty laundry that you guys might have not heard about. And I want you guys to hear about it. You're not going to hear it from me. We're going to watch a video together. And uh, But before we do, I hope, you're so I hope you got yourself a cup of coffee. I know I do. Look at this. Starbucks, baby. Go get you some. All you got to do is come to my house and get it. <laughs> hey, okay, so let's get started. Stop wasting time, right? You guys got to get back to work. Or maybe you got to leave the restroom. Trips to Vegas, Gucci bags, a Mercedes Benz, all paid for with your tax dollars, according to investigators. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about several IRS agents down in Memphis, Tennessee, who stole over $1 million in COVID relief money. Now, this comes on the heels of the news that they're going to hire 87,000 new IRS agents to do what? To steal some more money? To not <laughs> give my money back for my tax return? I mean, yeah. what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Now, where did the money go? What did they spend the money on? Was it stocks and bonds? Was it real estate? Was it a high yield savings account? Was it Bitcoin? Anything like that? No, no, no. Uh, what they spent their money on, you probably would imagine. But at a certain point, it's sometimes hard to believe. It's like, really? You spent the money on that? You stole from the federal government as a federal employee to buy that? What's going on? Now, before I go any further, let's roll the clip. And as always, this clip will be in the description if you want to hear it and see it without my commentary. But you see the headline, IRS employees allegedly spent COVID money on Mercedes, Gucci, and trips to Vegas. Let's check it on out. Trips to Vegas, Gucci bags, or Mercedes Benz, all paid for with your tax dollars, according to investigators. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Darcy Thomas. And I'm Daniel Wilkerson. Daryl Green has the night off. The Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP, and Economic Injury Disaster Loans were aimed at helping people and businesses get back on their feet during COVID-19. But federal prosecutors say that five IRS employees in Memphis pocketed hundreds of thousands of dollars for themselves. This is a story that's been driving traffic all day on Fox13Memphis.com. Yeah, Fox13 Sierra Jordan joins us live from the IRS office in Memphis. Sierra, you spoke with folks who were surprised to hear about the IRS employees. Yes, people's jaws have literally dropped when I told them the news. They say they couldn't believe IRS employees were accused of ripping off COVID-19 relief programs. I got to just pause right here. <laughs> it shouldn't be any surprise. There should be no surprise here, really, because the larger the government gets, the more corrupt it gets. So things like this are going to happen. Now, I'm not sitting here saying every IRS agent is. Hold on, hold on. I want to hear that again. Because the larger the government gets, the more corrupt it gets. There you go. So things like this are going to happen. Now, I'm not sitting here saying every IRS agent is a thief. No, I'm not. But the larger the government gets, the more control they have, the more they're going to do stuff like steal. Now, I did speak to a few people who didn't want to be on camera, but they did say as a community, we need to do better. <laughs> During COVID-19, PPP and EIDL were designed to help business owners and people meet their financial obligations. But federal prosecutors say five Memphis IRS employees took advantage of the pandemic relief programs. According to court documents by the Department of Justice, the current or former IRS employees embezzled thousands of dollars in COVID relief money and spent the money on cars, designer items, and trips to Las Vegas. See, that's evil. It's evil. That's not right. Definitely not right. People actually need their money. A lot of people suffered during COVID, so their money could have been put to better use. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, 46-year-old Brian Salisbury of Memphis got more than $170,000 in loan money. Prosecutors say he used it to buy a Mercedes and put money in a personal investment account. 
38 year old Courtney. Okay, so he, he didn't invest his money. Okay, that's, that's one thing he did. But the Mercedes Benz, the big crazy, hey, I sell drugs, car, that might have been a bad idea. Westmoreland of Cordova is accused of getting nearly $12,000. Investigators say she used it on manicures, luxury clothing, and massages. 35-year-old Fatina Hewitt of Olive Branch allegedly got almost $29,000 in loans. The U.S. attorney says the money paid for Gucci clothing and a trip to Las Vegas. 27-year-old Roderick DeMarco White II of Memphis reportedly got more than $66,000. That money allegedly went towards personal items, including a Gucci satchel. 56 year old let's pause right quick now i covered this in my live stream last night shout out to you if you were there and watching but a gucci satchel is not a man purse so you're risking your your freedom over a purse sir is is that is it is it was it worth it really <laughs> and then the other girl 12 bands twelve twelve thousand dollars on 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 your nails and um what what else a trip to vegas or some other kind of just you know Clothes, online shopping, really? You're risking your freedom over online shopping and getting your nails done? How how dumb is that? If you're going to risk your freedom, maybe even your life, maybe you should go to a little bit of a higher, you know, a, a level. Get out the country. You think if you only, if you only steal 12,000, it's not going to make a difference? If you steal one red cent from the federales. Anyways, that's Anthony Brian Logan. You guys can uh, look for him on YouTube. Like and subscribe to that guy. He's great. Go like and subscribe to Jimmy Dore. Matter of fact, like and subscribe to my channel too. Why not? You know, I mean, hey, I'm from Houston. And if you're from Houston, support the guy from Houston, right? Or not. You know, whatever you want to do. I'm not asking you for any money. I mean, I could, but I'm not. Anyways, so the IRS agents that, uh, the man upstairs hired turned out to be some crooks. Uh, that's what apparently, supposedly, allegedly, 81 million voters voted for. Bunch of crooks. Right? So damn sad. It's embarrassing. We live in the greatest damn country in, Amer in the world. And this is this is what we get. This is what we deserve. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm getting angry. And I probably should leave. Anyways. As always, keep it crispy. Hasta luego.